It, it was tragic, I mean, because she was a nice, nice lady. Along Richmond's Griffin Avenue, memories are long. She lived right there in that house right there. Neighbors remember the sleepless nights. Uh, uh, Randy Vaughn still laments the loss of a friend. Something else, I mean. Nearly 30 years later. Sad. January 25th, 1991. She was beautiful, inside and out. Deborah Randall was gunned down on her porch by her boyfriend, Richard Johnson Jr. That's what we're here, jealous, raised. The woman, known as Precious, was eight months pregnant. Deborah was kept alive for 15 hours so her baby could be delivered. It was a miracle baby. Her son was named Donnie. We've been following Donnie's progress through the years, from his first birthday and steps, success on the gridiron, and today. Deborah. Deborah Randall. Years ago, uh, my father killed my mother. They said me and her look alike, you know? And I laugh, I'm like, no, she look like me. <laughs> Donnie's grandmother, Georgia Simmons, never hesitated becoming Donnie's sole caregiver. Oh, when Donnie came along, it was like, can't let go of this. I got to do this. I got to do this. It's meant for me to do this. I appreciate my grandma, you know, providing an environment. Donnie credits grandma with his success and encouraging him to always look ahead. She sent me on a path. She taught me how to adjust. Donnie is not wasting his second chance at life. You grow. You can't dwell on the past. You can only change yourself. Lord, help me have a safe day. Officer Randall took the oath last summer to protect and serve his hometown. I try to take my past and what I went through to help motivate others. Hi. Uh, hey, guys. How you doing? You good? Who's sitting here? There's always a seat reserved for this officer. Can I sit here? <laughs> Donnie identifies with the youngest and most vulnerable Richmonders. Oh, what details are you going to do? How you like that? Children. And then you got to make some more dots. He, more than anyone, knows what it's like to go without. Like coloring books, stuff like that. Donnie always carries supplies for little ones in need. Sometimes as simple as a coloring book that make a world of a difference to a kid, you know? Last December, Officer Randall offered a pair of socks to a barefoot boy who ran out of a burning home. The generous act went viral. I couldn't imagine having a more well-rounded officer. Donnie's second precinct supervisor, Lieutenant Kim Mooney, says the gentle giant builds a circle of trust. He's going to make a huge impact on the people in this city um, because he is just positively influencing people on a daily basis. Put your name on it. Donnie's kindness is matched by his ability to let go of grudges. Oh, yeah, I forgive them. Yep, I forgive them. On his 25th birthday, Donnie went to prison to meet the man who took the life of his mom. You have to learn to forgive to move on. Because if you don't forgive, you will be stuck in that situation, you know? Gotta go to work. Now, a father himself. You put your head on. Donnie Randall vows to always be there. Good job. For his son. Good job. Now, I've been blessed all my life to be here, so. And this little dude right here, my blessing. He wants to give Tyler something he never had. You can't let yourself be negative. Because when you start letting yourself get negative, things start going wrong, you start falling into a hole. Back on Griffin Avenue. Randy Vaughn still feels a slight sting reflecting on his friend. I do. Deborah. I do think about it. But his pain is eased, knowing her gift is making the world a little brighter. God's will, I mean. With each act of kindness. And I noticed your sister put your name on her rock because you mean a lot to her, right? It's good to hear of any young person uh, to find the right path and make something of themselves. So I'm gonna do Tyler. It's great to hear. What are you doing with yours? I always say I just never had it so good because I'm just happy to be here. See how cool he is with that? Future officer. Ain't that right, man?